Dame Leslie Regan visited Gibraltar last year. She met with health professionals and held a public question and answer session. In her letter, she says she supports the proposed new law and is confident in saying that the women of Gibraltar will be able to access safe, evidence-based care. Professor Regan points out that abortions will be signed by two doctors and women will be able to access abortions within the 12-week limit. She explains doctors will have to declare that they believe the woman they are treating meets one of the grounds for care included in the Act. Nevertheless, she says there will occasionally be families who will tragically have to face the trauma of their much-wanted pregnancy being affected by a fetal abnormality, who may need to access abortion beyond the 12-week limit. Dame Leslie highlights that without this provision in the new law, a woman who knows her baby will die will be forced to carry the pregnancy to term in what she describes as the cruelest of circumstances. She said not every woman will choose an abortion, but stressed all women should be able to choose this option for herself with the support of her doctor. In the case of saving a woman's life, she said doctors must be able to act without fear of breaking the law. In her letter, Dame Leslie says she believes we should trust our doctors and nurses and empower them with the reassurance they need to provide ethical, high-quality care for women, which is what they have been trained to do. Speaking on Radio Gibraltar, the Gibraltar for Yes campaign echoed Dame Leslie's words. His interpretation will be guided by his training, by his... Uh, um, the British Medical Association itself has its own guidelines and uh, code of ethics. Uh, and the doctor is the best person, he is the expert in the field, and he's the best person to be able to assist that. The law will set out the parameters in which an I... abortion can happen, and the doctor, in consultation with the woman, they will decide uh, whether the circumstances merit. It's the doctors who will be able to assess the severity of the of the illness or, or whatever uh, disability that the, the fetus has. Um, at the end of the day, from outside, we can't see. The doctor has that information and can discuss that with the woman um, and they can make that decision. With just two days to go to the referendum, the Gibraltar for Yes campaign is urging everyone to go out and vote.